Hi everyone. Hi Bumblebee. Yes, I just clicked on same time as you did. Uh, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. I'm in Northeast Ohio and I'm an eBay and Poshmark seller and I actually had a good week this past week which was a long time coming. I sold 27 eBay items and three Poshmark items for a grand total of 30 sales altogether. Certainly beats those couple weeks I've had like eight. <laughs> and my new pup arrived last night. Uh, my dog walker drove me so I didn't have to drive because I was figuring it was going to be a little like dusk out but they were actually 45 minutes early so it wasn't too late uh the whole transport went without a hitch i guess there was she came from south carolina from ellen i don't know if ellen will join us or not uh i told her i was going to uh let penny make an appearance She's, she's sleeping right here on the floor next to me right now, but I'll wake her up. Hi, Sue. Um, yes, so I had a good sales week and a good week altogether because I got my new dog. Uh, it's been, it's been, it just seems like forever since I lost Dexter. Uh, I think it was. July 18th, was it? I'm terrible at dates. I don't remember death dates for sure. But it's it just seems it was a long time. And I don't like being without a dog, ever. Uh, well, as I asked about the snow, my sister asked what she'll do when she sees snow. Originally, she came from Ohio, and then I think her owner also said she came uh, before that. That was another uh, foster in a foster in Ohio, and also I think she originally maybe came from New York. So she's she's seen snow. Just it's her last uh, home was in South Carolina. So for the last I think four years. Uh, she's lived in Ohio. Uh, yes, Bumblebee, the consistency is what's doing it. I don't miss at all. I've been trying to tell my daughter that too, that she can't miss. Because she did miss a day or two and her, her sales went right in the toilet. <laughs> so I hope she believes now. Uh, yes. Maybe I should uh, let a little girl here make an appearance. Here, here. Come up here. Uh, this is Penny. Look up here. Look up here. Yes, look up here. You gonna look at the camera? You don't know about that? <laughs> She weighs about 35 to 40 pounds. I think more like 40 to look at her. Uh, she's not as small as I thought she'd be, but she's big enough. Uh, I didn't want a small dog, but she's a really good size. She's smaller than my other pointers who were standard size. And uh, she's such a good girl. Uh, she has seen so far at my house, she's seen rabbits. She's seen a groundhog twice, a big fat groundhog. And of course, she met my chickens this morning. Well, didn't meet them. She saw them when I let them out into their safer run. Uh, she was just having a fit. She wanted to get over there. And uh, of course, I couldn't let her anywhere near there. 
I haven't tried walking her on a leash. I tried last night and she was just too much for me. Uh, luckily, Jolene was here and walked her around the yard. Uh, Jolene is much younger and much stronger than me. But her owner says that she does walk on a leash. So I think she was just really excited. But I did find, I knew I had a no pole halter. So what I'm going to do, and I walked her around the house in it. It's much better. So I'm going to put the no pole halter on her. It fits really nice and snug. And then also have a leash attached to her collar because she's a runner and she's an escape artist. <laughs> so the worst thing that can possibly happen when you have a dog or a rescue dog or a foster dog is that they get loose from you. So that just can't happen. Uh, so, uh, yeah, she's been really, really good. Uh, she's not as food oriented as Dexter was or any of my dogs for that matter, but I could change that. <laughs> Come here, little girl. Come here. Yeah, she has a lot of spots, almost like a Dalmatian. Do you have some Dalmatian in you? I don't know. Anyway, I want to uh, get through this because I do have a lot of sales. I hope this my computer acts right because my computer has been really, really slow uh, today. I don't know if it's because I have so many tabs open because I have so many sales. But um, we'll see. So I'm going to share my screen. And... Uh, <clears throat> Okay, the first thing is this Feel a Golf Performance long sleeve um, athletic shirt. It was a men's uh, top, knit black uh, with the blue detailing there. Um, this went for $19.77, which was an offer to watchers, and somebody bought it for that. And it went to Carbondale, Colorado. Uh, let's see, next tab. No, oh, why isn't that pulling up? See, it's going to be really slow. I can tell already. Uh, is this uh, plaid shirt? It's by, by Marmot. There is the tag, Marmot. It's an extra, extra large men's short sleeve shirt. Uh, it's organic cotton, and that sold for $22.99, uh, which was the regular price, so they must have bought that on a Monday. Uh, it went to Galena, Kansas uh, for $22.99. All these sales, um, the buyer also pays shipping on them because I don't pay shipping. Uh, the next thing, I'm sorry, this is so slow. The next thing is this um, J. Crew Women's Size Small. This was linen, knit top uh, with sort of a burnout pattern, thin pattern. And that went for $24.99, which was also probably a Monday because that was the regular price. And that went to Wake Forest, North Carolina. And the next thing is a Poshmark seller, sale, seller. Uh, another one of my suits, thank goodness, sold. Brooks Brothers sport coat. Uh, this is just a sport coat. Pounds tooth in a 44 long. I'm trying to get rid of all these sport coats and suits that I had gotten a long time ago. This sold for $23. Uh, 
I made $18.40 on that sale from Poshmark. And that went to South Burlington, Vermont. <clears throat> okay, this is a little sort of a thin sweatshirt with a zipper front. This is by that Ivory Ella with the elephant on the front and on the back. I almost kept this, but it just fit. I didn't, I didn't like how it fit me, so I put it up for sale. And it's sold. Now I've sold both of the pieces of Ivory Ella that I put on. So somebody else likes elephants besides me. Uh, and this went as a global shipping program. So I don't have any idea where this is going in the world. But it sold for $19.54, which was the sale price. Well, come on. Sorry about this. This is just taking forever. I was afraid to restart my computer to make things Fat. Sometimes that makes things faster because I was afraid I'd lose all these tabs that I pulled. And I didn't want to do that again. So, All right, here's a St. John evening uh, sweater dress. It had, the collar was all, you can hardly see it, but it was all sequins, like rectangular sequins. And I think on the sleeves too, if I'm, yeah, on the sleeves too. It was a pretty, really tight knit sweater dress by St. John, and I had it on for $123.25. I did take a best offer of $80 on this, though, because I've had it a while. I got this for $0 from Judy, so I figured I can just take $80 for it. It went to Des Moines, uh, Washington, not Iowa. This is Washington State. Um, it did have free shipping on it because some of my more expensive items I do put free shipping on. So it did cost me, out of that $80, I had to take $11.34 to ship it all the way out to Washington. Of course, the furthest place it sold to. But that's okay. Uh, the next thing is uh, a VHS tape. This is an old-fashioned VHS tape of the movie Babe, the little pig. And that sold for $8.04. There's free shipping on that too, free shipping on my DVDs and my VHSs. And that I uh, had to pay $3.19 because that can go media mail. And it went to Little Rock, Arkansas. The next thing, now this sold with the worst pictures you can possibly have. You can tell because of the background was an old picture. I didn't have any front pictures here, which is really strange. I had everything but. I don't know what happened to the front picture. That's the closest thing you're going to get, and it doesn't show anything. So anyway, it sold. It sold for $25.50, the sale price. They didn't even ask for anything less. So that went to Greenville, Tennessee. So I was really happy about that, and they paid shipping. Uh, the next thing that ever comes up is uh, this little... Uh, top wooden beads that have wooden beads all over the front of it and sort of ribbon flowers uh, detailed. I think Bumblebee, I think you gave you uh, sent this in one of your boxes. This went to Raleigh, North Carolina, and it sold for $16.14, which was the sale price. 
pretty sure that you gave me this or not gave sold me this uh here is this pair of sas or sas shoes that san antonio shoe company and these i got my did i get these or did you send these i think i got them uh they are just black they were fabric and they were sort of a wedge uh heel doesn't show real good here the wedge there it is a wedge just a low wedge heel and those sold for $25 best offer that I took and those went to Powder Springs Georgia uh, Penny is sleeping already behind me Uh, this is that two-piece sweater outfit that I bought. I found several things wrong with it, however, when I was uh, photographing it. Uh, the shell, the tank shell underneath it, this piece, had been taken up uh, on the sides and on the shoulders. Uh, and it did have some pilling and things on the, the uh, garment. Other than that, it was pretty good. But I did, that's why I took a, uh, uh, or I put it up for $21.24, or that was the sale price, and that's what it sold for. Uh, if it hadn't been messed with, I think I would have gotten more for it because it did, it was a lot of cashmere in the sweater set. Uh, so that's what it sold for. $21.24 plus they paid shipping. Uh, the next thing is this J. Jill little denim, uh, like half button shirt. It was almost like chambray cloth. Uh, and it was a size medium, had flat pockets on the front. It was a pullover blouse that sold for $15 best offer. And that went to Reynolds Station, Kentucky. <clears throat> Okay, here's a couple pair of pants that I got for my daughter of the many millions of bags she has to sell all these plus size um, pieces that she has to sell. She gave me, when I was out there, the first time she gave me a bag as payment, I guess. So um, I sold two fleece jackets already and these. These, I lauded these together. They're just a stretch denim uh, pants, pull-on pants. They're by just my size. They don't sell much uh, separately. So I put them on a lot of two and sold them for $16.99. And they went to Oak Brook, Illinois. <clears throat> this is a cloth and stone button-up rayon shirt. I'm not sure if I got this or if this came from Bumblebee, but this uh, is a really dark navy blue. It looks almost black, but it is navy blue. And that went to Bend, Oregon. And I did take a best offer of $20 on this. It was like uh, tunic length. There's a long, a long shirt tunic. Okay, the next thing is another Poshmark sale. This is Tommy Hilfiger, an extra large short sleeve plaid shirt, men's shirt. Uh, I did take their offer of $15 on this. Uh, I'm sort of in, in for this uh, taking lower prices and selling more. I like more sales, even if I have to take lower prices. So Maybe I'm listening to Thrift a Life more or too much, but I think that's what I'm going to do for a while and see uh, how it goes. Anyway, $15. It went to Springfield, Oregon, and I made $12 on that sale. Uh, the next thing is Ann Taylor Loft. This was a Fair Isle North uh, Snowflake sweater. 
it had some uh, mohair in it, which I mentioned, and that sold for an offer to watchers I sent out for $24.77. And somebody bought it for that in Burke, Virginia. <clears throat> The next thing is this uh, J. Crew V-neck sweater, and this I had just put on not too long ago. This is the one with the uh, this is the back of the sweater, but it shows those panels of faux leather, vegan leather they call it now, uh, along like from the elbow down all the way to the cuff. So it's kind of different, but this was uh, pure wool cashmere. It was very very soft. And it sold for $22.94, the asking or the sale price that I had it on for. And it went to Richmond, Virginia. Tommy Helfiger, another pair of booty shorts I sold. So they are still selling. <laughs> uh, these were a size six. Uh, I took a best offer of $14 because pretty soon they're not going to sell very much. So uh, I'm going to try to, because I had a lot of them. I still have a lot, so I will try to uh, sell a lot of them. So that, those went to Mary's Maryville, Tennessee uh, for $14. Now, here is this Lily Pulitzer uh, top. I think Bumblebee sent this. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this was a little fitted uh, cardigan sweater with four buttons, little buttons there, buttons and loops. And with these flowers were sort of 3D. They stood up. They were beaded and had some, had, they were all embroidered, had some beads on uh, and this is a really cute little sweater in that pink Lily Pulitzer color. I had three-quarter sleeves, and that sold for $24.77, an offer I sent out to watchers. And they paid shipping, and it went to London, Londonderry, North uh, New Hampshire. Here is a pair of Levi's 505 men's regular fit jean shorts. These were a size 33 and 100% cotton. And they went for $21.24, which was the sale price. They went to Chat Chattanango, not Chattanooga, Chattanango, New York. And they paid priority shipping because any kind of jeans, denim is heavy, even if they're short. So it was over a pound, had to go priority. Uh, this is that logo, Lori Goldstein, Goldstein uh, tunic top with the asymmetrical bottom. I know we talked about this bumblebee, but now I can't remember if I got that or if you sent it. But... It sold, and you were right that they it does sell. This this brand does sell, so it sold pretty quickly for twenty one twenty four. Or no, that was the Levi's. Uh, this sold for sixteen fourteen, which was a sale price. I probably should have marked this, took your advice and marked this up a little bit higher, but then maybe it wouldn't have sold. So you never know. Uh, it went to Queen Creek. Arizona, Queen Creek, that's sort of hard to say, Arizona. <clears throat> now, this, oh, that's the next one, I'm sorry. Uh, the next thing is by Chico's, it's uh, Chico's Travelers, it's a button front, uh, long top, like a tunic shirt or top cardigan they call it but it was that slinky stretchy fabric doesn't wrinkle at all that sold for a best offer of $18 <coughs> and it went to Portland Oregon uh, 
uh, Tommy Bahama women's uh, size large in tropical print in a linen. Maybe Bumblebee sent this. Not sure. <laughs> and uh, that sold for $18 best offer. And that, here I am with the wrong, I keep forgetting to go on. Tommy Bahama sold for $21.24, the sale price. Uh, went to Colts Neck, New Jersey. The next thing is a little painted button, uh, cambray, chambray top with a peplum. That's sort of a high peplum. Usually peplums are done by the hip, so I'm not sure if they call that peplum or not, but I did. And it sold. It had floral embroidery on it. It was a size medium. And it sold for an offer to watchers I sent out for $11.44. I went to, like I said, Queen Creek. Queen Creek, Arizona. I thought I said that. Oh, heavens. That same lady that bought the Lori Goldstein, Stein, I'm sorry. Lori Goldstein also bought this. And be so, because I'm so fast in doing my labels and getting things in the bin, I didn't combine that shipping, which was a shame. And she didn't say anything, but she bought both of those items. I could have saved, saved her some shipping. If, you know, if people buy things and they want to bundle them to it's easier bundling things in Poshmark than it is on eBay because if there's any time in between when you buy things a lot of times it doesn't eBay doesn't see that they're the same and they don't put them together so just like that so unfortunately I sent those separately I just realized now it's the same person uh, the next thing is this pair of club room new with tag corduroy pants. These were men's in a gray brand new pants and they sold for $24.64 the sale price and they went to Oakland, California. Uh, here is this little faux silk lush top. Uh, did you could have sent me this bumblebee. Uh, it went to Thousand Oaks, California. It sold for $15.29, uh, the sale price. This was like a hot pink. I think you sent me this because I you probably said it was hot pink. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Thousand Oaks, California. I don't think I've had a Texas sale yet. Uh, the next thing is one of my items that I had for a long time. This is a little coffee cup or a teacup. Looks like a uh, little planter. Uh, and it has a saucer that you can also put on top. Then it keeps your tea or coffee warm. So I sold that for... I sent out an offer to watchers for $9.77 because I really didn't have to pay for that. It was my own. And uh, that sold. They did have to pay $10.10 shipping on it, however. So they, they actually paid a total of $19.87 for this cup. I just had to pay $8 shipping. So I made a little bit on the shipping. Here's a Tory Richard Hawaiian shirt. Uh, Tory Richard may have come from Bumblebee too. Uh, short sleeve, extra large men's shirt. And uh, that sold for $21.24, the sale price, and it went to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Someplace it's not very tropical. <laughs> Whoop. 
Okay, another pair of booted shorts. These were women's in a size 29 denim uh, stretchy blend with raw seams. And that went to Imlay, Nevada. And it sold for $16.14. Just a minute, honey. Uh, the sale price that went for and my last sale was a Poshmark sale. And it was a sent another St. John piece. This St. John, I've had so many offers on this. They've all been really low, low offers. I mean low ball offers that I've refused and refused and refused. Finally, somebody offered me $45, and I just decided to take it. Uh, so it went to Los, Los Van. Los Banos, California, through Poshmark. From the $45, I made $36 off of that. And I have had this a long time. So that is what I sold this week. Pretty good, I think. Let me get back <clears throat> here. You have itchy? Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah, look in the camera. Maybe your mommy's there. Maybe Ellen's there. Yeah. <laughs> I closed the door because uh, when she goes out in the other room and I call her sometimes, most of the time, but she's, she's going to open it with her nose. You can open doors. It's shut a little too tight. Yeah. You want to go out? Why don't you come here? Yeah. I can't put this down any lower. Yeah. There she is. She's going to open that. Can you get it open? Yes, she is. That's something that Dexter could never do. He would never open doors, and even if the door was shut a little too tight, he wouldn't squeeze through. He didn't like anything touching his sides, but evidently, she doesn't have that problem. <laughs> so, uh, let me see what you said here, Bumblebee. I just found the logo. Okay, then I got it. Yeah. Uh, yes, I did. I sold that as a cell similar. It works sometimes. I can't tell if it really works all the time or not. Uh, let me go back here and see. Sue says, hi. Okay, the snow thing is last thing I said. She knows she's home. <laughs> we had a we had a sort of a nervous night last night. Um, she slept much better than me. However, I didn't have I slept downstairs on the couch, and my couch does not have loose cushions on the back, so you can't make the couch wide. You know, so it's a narrow couch, and I didn't sleep very good. I maybe got three hours of sleep last night. So I think she slept better, though. She seemed to be sleeping every time I'd wake up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The brand of the wooden bead top, I didn't have it listed. So I'm not sure. It must have been a brand that wasn't, you know, was just a nothing brand. And I just put on about the item that it sold. I'm not sure what the brand was, to tell you the truth. Uh, the Fila and Marmot tops were in my last men's box. Okay. <clears throat> 
I got the SAS shoes, yeah. Still a good price for the two-piece sweater set. Yeah, that was a... I didn't look at that close enough when I bought it. Plus sizes sell, no matter what the brand. Yeah, if I if I get any more of those, because I think if I go to my daughter, she's because that lady is still giving her stuff of her friends. <laughs> my daughter sort of gets beside herself sometimes, but I think uh, she'll give me another bag of stuff. Hmm. I found the cloth and stone. Okay, $14 still more than I can get on any sh short shorts. Yeah, I usually get at least $14 on the sh booty shorts, unless I really bring them down, you know. But so far, so good. Yes, the Lily Pulitzer was in one of your boxes, the pretty preppy box. <laughs> and you got the check. Good. Okay. Uh, I found the Tommy Bahama linen leaf top. Yeah, I've been buying a lot of linen, it seems. Well, there's a lot of linen in the stores because, you know, winter's coming. So people are donating their linen things, which is good with me. Oh, the chambray top was from you. Okay. Even though Chris is getting me to go faster, but not too fast. Right. Blush top was from you. Trying to incorporate silky, yes. The non-clothing items keep my sales going. Yeah, I stick a couple of those in every every time, every week. Tori Richards was mine, maybe. <laughs> I didn't give up on Posh, but I don't share her very often. I mean, I now went on and put a bunch of more fall things up. But the things that uh, I sell are from way deep down in my closet. So people must be searching my closet. My cat finally came out of the basement. Come here, Penny. Come here. Come here. My cat finally came out of the basement and got up on the counter where her food is even though I did put food down in the cellar way for her. But she did come up, and she just sat up there and watched the dog. And I think she makes Penny a little nervous. She's very curious, but she's not barking at all at her. She's just looking and looking. So I don't think she's really used to being with cats. But who knows? I mean, she's been a lot of places. But <laughs> it'll work itself out. My cat probably is almost half the weight of this dog. <laughs> yeah, my cat can take care of herself. My vet would say she has that skill set, but to open the doors. <laughs> uh. You think I found the wooden beaded top? Maybe. I, I don't remember. I don't remember much. Uh, yes, I didn't do much on eBay yesterday, except I had things in drafts, so things got listed. Just like today, get things got listed because I had things in the draft. But right now, I have to put things in the draft for tomorrow. So I've only actually created listings for three so far I have to do at least three or four more so I have enough for tomorrow and then I don't have to worry about it so much because I want to pay attention 
and learn to walk my dog and find out what things she knows. She knows sit really well. She knows stay. Uh, I told her down a few times. She finally did do that. We'll work on that. And stay. I told you stay. That's a really important one. So we're going to work on that a lot. And uh, I have to tell you one really weird thing. She's been in every room of my house. Oh, there's six in the... Oh, good. Maybe one of them is Ellen. Uh, Penny's South Carolina mama. Um, Ellen, if you're here, I hope you saw her. Come here, Penny. Come here. Come here. Yeah. You have to make your appearance here. Yes. You gonna look in the camera? You don't know where that is? Yeah. Here's the girl. Here's the girl. So I think she's going to work out just fine if she doesn't kill me with her long rope. I am so afraid of getting tangled, my feet getting tangled in when they're on a long rope like that outside. So I go out with her, but I stand right up against the house so she can't get behind me. And uh, that works out okay. And I think the halter, the no pull halter is going to work out for me taking her for a walk around the yard. I hope so. Now, uh, Jolene will work on her leash skills for sure. Yes, she does have, she's very happy dog. She's wagging her tail all the time. Uh, yeah, so I want to uh, keep working with her. It's going to be a while before the Invisible Fence people get out here. It's not, my date isn't until October. Uh, they just can't get workers, just like every place. Uh, so my date is in October, so I can't even start training her to my Invisible Fence till then. So I will do like before. I will have a trainer come out with me the first two times, and then I will take over from there. Uh, that has worked out perfectly before. Uh, so hopefully it will be work out again for sure. Because this little girl is a runner and an escape artist, they say. So I have to be really careful with her at the doors. My doors are all locked. So nobody comes in accidentally and opens the door. So I'm going to close for now. I hope uh, Ellen was here to see the dog. I've been sending her pictures. I will in, uh, keep doing that if she wants. And I will, uh, Ellen, if you have seen this, just comment below. There's a place to comment below. Uh, and I will see you all sometime during the week. I may have to go, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting less and less anxious to go out again. So I'm ordering things from the grocery store. And I'm not crazy about going into Goodwill now because of this uh, Delta variant thing. And how this COVID is just climbing like crazy. So. I may have to start ordering wholesale again. We'll see. If not, if I do, we'll have some boxes to open. And I think this coming week is a bumblebee box. Right? Maybe. I get my weeks mixed up, but maybe. So I'll be some on sometime during the week, and uh, I will see you all then. Thanks for coming. Bye.